I am running because of what Dr. King called the fierce urgency of now.
but the criticism is, oh, you know, somebody who talks about hope all the time, they must be naive. They must be engaging in wishful thinking. Now Barack is a hope monger. He's playing on false hopes. He needs a reality check. And, you know, the implication is that if you uh, talk about hope, that you must not understand how the world works. That you must be idealistic and with your head up in the clouds. You must be passive and just think that everything's going to happen easily. I know how hard it's going to be because I have fought on the streets as a community organizer on the south side of Chicago. I have fought in the courts as a civil rights attorney on behalf of those who've been denied opportunity. I have fought in the legislature, and I've got some great legislation passed, but I've seen good legislation die because good intentions were not enough. They weren't fortified with political power and political will and a sense of urgency. I've seen the judgment of this country clouded by fear. So that we went into a war we should not have gone into. So that we have turned on one another and we become afraid of each other. I know how hard, I know how hard change is. But I also know this, that nothing worthwhile in this country has ever happened except somebody somewhere decided to hold it. And that is the moment we're in right now. This election is our opportunity. Now there is a moment in the life of every generation, if it is to make its mark on history, where that spirit must come through, where we shed ourselves of the fear and the doubt and the cynicism, and we roll up our sleeves and we join together and we, we make this country, block by block, county by county, state by state. And we don't settle for the world as it is, but we imagine the world as it might be, and we push for that.